Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, telling me to rotate my device, although it looks correct to me, so I hope that helps it be correct for you. I'm here today, and we are going to make card number three with these So Many Stars stamp set. Now, generally, when I do a featured stamp set, week three, we do a Christmas card. Well, since this is a Christmas stamp set, for week three, we are intentionally going to do something that is not a Christmas card. But if you want to see the Christmas card version of this design, when I post this on my blog, it will be on there because I am entering the Christmas card version into a challenge. So I just want to let you know also that online extravaganza is happening right now. It started yesterday. It runs through tomorrow. And it is cardstock and ink pads in the classic, uh, classic ink pads in the neutral family and the regals and both in color families that are available right now. Also, there are eight select bundles that are also on sale. So head on over to my website and you can click on the shop now button and check that out i do have a new website it's angelstamps.net and if you want to send me an email it's angel at angelstamps.net well, we are just gonna go ahead and get busy creating our card today so we flip you down Okay, we have very vanilla cardstock that has been cut hot dog style, which is four and a quarter by 11, and then folded in half to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card front. And the first thing we're going to do is line up these strips of designer series paper that are cut at four by one. There are three of them. I am going to eventually do something about the lighting in this room, but I haven't gotten that done quite yet. So there we are going to have those. And then I'm choosing to stamp in Mossy Meadow. We're stamping the word peace down here at the bottom of the card. Right. Put that aside for now. And then we can go ahead and glue the strips on. Now I'm going to bring up my die cutting machine 
and I'm using the Pretty Peacock cardstock, which happens to be one of the colors available in the online extravaganza. And we are going to use it to cut out this image, this die from the Stitch Stars dies. Now I did put some multi-purpose um, sheet on the back of this, which is going to make it simpler for us to attach it to our card. And at this point, Stamp It Up does not sell these. They have in the past. I don't know if they ever will again in the future. But you can find them at a hobby store. Just an adhesive sheet that can go on the back of your cardstock. And getting my roller to roll that out of the cardstock. Make sure that it comes out all nice. It got stuck. The sticky part got stuck. I would probably recommend rolling from the back side, which I did not do to start with. So let's see if I can get that on. Then roll it from back here. is not the easiest in the world to get off. All right. There we have from the Stitch Jars Framelit. And I am just going to be sticking it right here. It's going to be climbing up the side of the card. And then I'm going to do a one more stamp on the inside and our card will be complete. Someday I'm going to clean up around here, but who knows when that'll be. I always, I don't know about you, but I always seem to be in the middle of a project that requires me to have my stuff strung everywhere so I can find it. Alright. I'm just going to take these stars, stamp them on the inside. And there we have it. The outside of the card. This is the So Many Stars card week three and the inside. And if you would like to see the Christmas version of this card, head on over to my blog at angelstamps.net and it will be up by sometime tomorrow. And I will see you back here next Thursday. Bye, everybody.